Hey guys, and welcome to the Jason Show. Or is it the Jason Show now at this stage? I really don't know. I guess we'll just call it the Jason Show from now on. So hey guys, and welcome to the Jason Show. Kind of still has a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Anyway, people. It's here. It's finally here. You guys did it, you know that? You guys managed to uh, convince enough people to subscribe to this channel so that they could see me do a stupid dance. And by stupid dance, I mean amazing dance. So I just want to give a big thank you to all of those who have subscribed and supported me through all of this. Thank you. So guys, I kind of have an experiment to do today. As the old song goes, you put the lime in the coconut. But the thing is, do you actually put the lime into the coconut? Or what? So I'm gonna do this two ways. I'm gonna one, at the bottom of a coconut, there's always these three little holes. Well, they're not really holes, but they're pressure points, basically. You can take a nail and shove it through them and whatnot. One's always hard, one's always medium, and the other's always soft. Um, yeah, it's kind of weird how it works, but anyway. So, one, I'll drink it out of a cup, see if it's any normal. And then the other one, I'll actually break open the coconut, put some lime in it, and drink it there and see if there's a difference. So I'm going to show you how to actually get the milk, not water, most people still think it's water in a coconut, but it's milk, out of a coconut. You take, let's say, a, a nail. Take it in one of those. One of them's always hard. That one's soft, because I was able to put it in through my hand. Can you hear that? There's air escaping from it. We have another one. And one of these you won't be able to do. And the other one you may be able to do. Anyway, I got one there. That's why I brought a hammer. Yay, hammers. So you gotta take. I'm probably gonna break everything by doing this, by the way. Here, and then quick couple of pats. You're breaking through. Take the nail out. Just smack the hammer down for some strange reason. And then you're repeating the last one. Also, a thing you should probably note is if you're doing that, you should always wiggle it around a bit. Make the hole a bit bigger. <laughs> That's what she said. Yeah, no, I was wrong of me to say. Anyway, so we have coconut milk going in. And that's how slow it comes out. Look at that. None at all, nearly. You can hear it. There's, there's milk in there, like. Have you ever noticed how hairy coconuts are? I mean, look at it. It's like... Okay, so uh, here I have lime and coconut mix in a cup. And as you can see, there's floaty bits in there and it doesn't look very appealing. I wonder if it has a smell. Oh God. How would this cure any stomach aches? The song must be lying. Uh. So, uh, after smelling it, I really don't want to do this, but I said I would, so I think I may save it to the end of the show, just in case I projectile vomit all over the place. So it's time for me to get sick all over the place, it would appear. Um, I have lime and coconut mixed in a bottle. That's it. And then I have lime in a coconut. You have no idea how incredibly terrible these two smell. It's... Oh... Blah. I'm doing this first because... Well, there's no bits in it. I really don't want to do this, but still. You can't smell this, bud. Fucking awful. <laughs> anyway, here we go. I guess I have to drink all of that, don't I? Well, no one's telling me I don't, so I guess I just need to taste it. Just gonna put that down. I do not wish that on anyone. It's too limey and then too coconutty. 
I did, I mixed it by the way beforehand and this just to make sure it was alright. And now just to prove it. And you shake it all about, they say. Oh balls it's leaking from the other side. <laughs> I shoved the knife through it. So uh I'm guessing there's a hole on the other side or something. So lime in a coconut from a coconut. <laughs> okay, that was just spilling everywhere. Have the lime in the coconut and drink it from the coconut. Way better. Way better. Also, I'm selling this coconut afterwards, so anyone who wants to drink from a coconut can drink from a coconut. $9.95, by the way, for the price. So, guys and girls, in other news, I am going to give blood today, which I've never done before. Supposedly, it's meant to be quite healthy for you, and, well, it helps everyone else out, doesn't it? I'm meant to be giving blood with Bridgie, but I'm sure at this point she'd love to steal the blood from my body. So for your viewing entertainment, I am going to record it. That's right, I'm going to record me getting my blood taken. Or stolen, as I would put it. Now, I know there's a, a couple of people out there who uh, like the idea of seeing blood leave someone's body. So I'm actually going to record the blood leaving my body as well for you, okay? So that should be a lot of fun anyway. Lots of blood and fainting, and I got a, some sort of candy at the end of it, and I think a can of Coke. It will be worth it. In regards to the dance, guys, I'm thinking in the next couple of weeks, depending if people have tests on or not, because I know there's meant to be a couple of us getting together for this, uh, that I'd wait until the tests are over and there's no panic or anything like that. You know, to be nice. So when I get the go-ahead that everything's okay from you guys and you don't have any tests or anything else like that, I'll do like a week or two after that. Plus, I think you need to get permission, don't you, from people in the Crescent? Or maybe I won't, and then it'd be way funnier. So thank you so much for your suggestion. I'm also waiting for Bridgie to be available so she can... <laughs> cause pain. Lots of pain. Okay, so as we all know, I'm doing the dance for 30 subscribers. I was thinking for 100 subscribers I should do something bigger again. But I'm not too sure what I should do. So what do you guys think I should do as a big event for 100 subscribers? You can put comments on either this video or MySpace, Facebook. And also people, if you aren't making any suggestions on Facebook, don't make suggestions to me. Make it to The Jaisal Show. If at all possible, that would be great. So folks, that's all the time I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the show. Sorry for running for as long as I have, but uh, there was things that needed to be said. Yeah. So I'll talk to you later, guys. Enjoy!